A couple of years ago, I sat for and passed my CAPM and PMP exams. One of the more dreary aspects of doing this was actually memorising all the formulas that you needed to pass, because for certain you were going to get five or six or more. So I did what everyone else normally do, does and put together some flashcards by putting the formulas on one side and the explanation on the other side. There has to be a better way of doing this which is far more interesting than just trying to commit to rote memory. Anyway, I wrote this small app called PMP Formula which I think lists most of the most used formulas that you need in a nice, pleasant interface. You get just about 30 to 35 of all the, um, of all the formulas you need. The, um, some menu items, the ones with the, with the chevron on the right hand side, open up to show you alternate ways of arriving at this one the um, expected actual cost or on completion. Now the difference here is, here's one of my favourite ones, the communication channels. It's all very well to have to sit there and memorise these formulas in the blue font, but it actually doesn't give you a hands-on feel for the numbers which helps you memorize and understand. So for each one of these formulas that you see here, there's an actual hands-on calculator to help you understand the effects of the input. So for instance, for communication channels, if I start with four stakeholders, that's six channels. But what happens if I just add one more channel, one more channel, it increases, one more stakeholder increases to 10. And what if I make it 6? So from 4 to 6, I've really increased it. Again, you can put in any numbers you like just to see what the effect is. So there's 45. You've got 990 channels, that makes it a complex project. Again, if I want to have a look at... Now some of them are quite easy. They've actually got maybe two or three, but the whole idea of helping you to remember the formulas is to let you touch and feel the numbers. So we'll come an accountant as well, so present value has got a lot of... Um, a lot of meanings to me. So a present value of 10,000 at interest rate of 7% and as you can see you don't have to put in 0.7. I've set this up so you put in the percent and say over three years. Okay. That 10,000 has a present value of 8,162. But what if, what if I make that interest rate 9%? number goes down. So the whole idea of having this is that you can actually, for the more complicated um, formulas, you can actually put in the inputs, play around with them, experiment with them, and I think also visually, visually, when you know you've got four inputs and one output, it gives you an overall look. It's easy to remember, and some of them have got information for additional notes. You just click on the information button, and it will give you more. So, my hope is this is a sort of a application that will assist you to more easily pass your PMP or CAPM by being able to. Just fiddle around with the numbers and play with them so that they're not just dry numbers on the um, on a cheat sheet. Again, optimistic input, so make that five days. Most likely 
10 days. Pessimistic, 15 days. PERT is 10. But okay, what if, what if a disaster comes and we make that 25 days? How does that moving from 15 to 21, 25 affect it? Moves it to 11. So basically, look, I hope you enjoyed this application. I welcome any feedback. Bye.